Hello everybody and welcome to today's video with me Zerger. Today's video we'll be having a look at building a lava XP farm and that is the bigger one on the right hand side which I'll be building in my survival world but I'll also show you guys how to build the smaller one if you wish to only farm these afrits for XP. Okay let's have a look shall we? So how the bigger fella works is well, I guess I can show you guys an example. So there is a civicness in there. Because of the dimensions of this, this will spawn the afrits as well as civicness, which is these tiny little fish fellas. So it will spawn them as well, as well as the salamanders. And every now and then so often, when you can see these mobs in there, we just press the button and they will pop on through. And as you can see, salamanders absolutely hate civicness. So they will eat them which is a downside to this, but every now and then you'll have enough salamanders at the bottom and you can just let them drop on down and get those drops as well. But the salamanders alone, their drops, not their drops, their spawns is quite high, so which makes this farm worth it. And like I've said, you get these little fellas as well. And then we just press our button again and our lava, kablamo, is back up there and that'll cause them all to spawn. Okay, so... Let me just clear them out. We just go in here every now and then so often and we give them a good old whack. Their dimensions is, I think, 3 by 4 so they can't get through this door anyway. Die! Right, just collect your drops. If you have the uh, polarized stone, all the drops always just come to you and you can just hold shift. And we get those drops and voila, we just wait for our next spawns. I am doing a two-door system because the Afrits will be floating around in here and they'll be giving you a little love tap every now and then with a ball of fire. So, build a two-door system. You can pop in here, give them a whack as they fly to the other side. Close this one, go back and then give them a tap. Probably need to have some water around here just because you don't want to die. So yeah, have a little bit of water around to just uh, extinguish yourself. Now, we build this by just building, what is this, four blocks up from here blocks up you can probably do one block less doesn't really matter and then from there we go another couple of blocks up there's more salamanders up there but four blocks up to here and then from here we just go a couple of blocks up some more and then we put our downwards facing dispensers and as you can see here I'm doing a row of eight you can go as you know kind of as long as you want lengthwise but the most important thing here is don't do more than three. So depth-wise, see, only I only have one, two, three dispensers on the go. If you go above three depth-wise, you will start to get the lobber spawns. And lobber, even though you'd think, hey, that's more XP and such, yeah, they're all right. But every now and then you'll get a lobber mini boss that spawns, and he's terrible. He is absolutely gigantic, and he will destroy this whole area and wreck your base. So, never do this depth-wise more than three blocks of lava. Lengthwise, go as far as you would like. Then, obviously, put a bucket of lava inside each of these. So that's quite a lot of lava. Just one, and it's a bit, you know, of a mundane task, really, as well. And then we just run a little redstone across there. And then we build ourselves a little redstone ladder. So, the important guy is this one down here. So you just place yourself a redstone torch. Not there, but yeah, it's going to deactivate them, but against the block, so that it gets overridden by the redstone signal of the button, which is powering this block. That will cause this one to become unpowered, and that causes this one above it to become powered, which causes this one to become unpowered, and this redstone to go off, and then on again. And that is how we build this redstone ladder. Pretty straightforward. Now, from here... In order to keep our lava up here, we go and we build ourselves, well not build I guess, we place ourselves a load of signs just going all the way along here and along here and then the inside here, place yourself a sign there and then whilst holding shift, actually it's from this side, so that sign there, you can place signs against other signs if you hold shift, so just place sign, 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 sign while holding shift all the way and that keeps this middle block suspended and then voila we have this lovely little summoning pit of I guess lavaness and then they all just get summoned in there not summoned spawn in there 
and their hitboxes is three by four. So you want this farm to be at least four blocks wide. I'm doing eight because there's quite a lot of them that spawns, like you can see. And every now and so often we just hit that and bloop, they drop on down, like you've seen. We go in there, we kill them, and that is that. Drops wise, I'm not sure if they drop any of the parts that you need for the forging station here you know, to make those uh, unique craftable tools. But you'll get these drops here. Every now and then you'll get the uh, the Cephignus meat, which is from the little fish fellas that'll be killed by the salamanders because they hate them. You'll get loads of coal, you'll get magma cream, you get the scorch fireball, uh, fireball drops from the Afrits, and you'll also get blaze. And that is that one done. Simply push of a button, push of a button, bang. And that is how that farm works. I hope that makes sense. And there's another salamander. So as you guys can see, the salamander spawn rates are pretty good. And bearing in mind that this is actually, let me show you guys, I chose a very bad location for this because underneath here is actually a load of lava. So there's lava there, there's lava there. I started covering them all up. There you can see there's the Cephignus already. So he's taking up the mop cap. So there's already loads of lava around here. And this farm is still doing pretty good. So that's not too bad. So yeah, be sure wherever you build this, make sure there's no other lava pools and such around to get maximum rates. Okay, that is the big old guy done. Now the smaller one, this one only does uprits. Just kind of whack him in the feet, pretty straightforward. Wait for him to come on down at some point, and then we'll carve off his ankles. Come on, fella. As soon as I kill this one, they might they might spawn there. But anyway, die. Okie doke. Spawns come all through. You can right-click them. Obviously, if you have got the polarized stone, as you can see, it's following me around. Eh. But you can just right-click them within there and grab all those drops. Okie doke. So we simply put a button here. We have a redstone line going across the back. And it just runs across these blocks, which is powering these droppers. And unlike the other one, these are forward placing droppers, of course. So they will be placing that lava bucket right here. And you just go ahead and fill them up with lava buckets, of course. Inside here, what I've done is I'm just putting myself a slab here to keep them from rising as much as they would like to. So just this top side, I put a slab there. And on top of this, I put another couple of slabs or just a full block because their hitboxes are weird being like an item mobs. Every now and then they will kind of float through this block and they will escape. So uh, yeah, just put half a block at the top there that will give them the dimensions they need, which is one, or if they're bigger, one and a half blocks for these Afrits to spawn, and they will spawn in there and be really happy until they die. And then we just put another layer of blocks on top, like I've said, and at the front here, just to keep the lava in there, we just put a topside slab. And that is that farm for those of you who only wish to do the smaller one, not the big one, like I've said. So you've got two options. That one is only Afrits. This one is Cephignus, Salamander, and Afrits. And we just cover ammo. And there we have them. And that is basically all that in a nutshell. I hope the redstone, redstone, redstone makes sense for you guys. But yeah, somebody goes in there, and we just build yourself a little ladder, a little ladder up top there. You can put yourself a repeater here if you are building this longer than eight. Uh, I think twelve blocks there somewhere. You'll need to put a repeater just to extend that signal. Uh, but apart from that, that should be all done, and we have loads of salamanders for your XP. And that is that done, guys. Alrighty, let me do this. Okay, thank you guys for watching, hope that made sense, and that you guys are having an awesome time with the 2.9.2 Autocraft on the horizon. I'm quite excited, I hope you guys are too, and well, this is me, Zergert, saying have an awesome day, and bye bye Cheers.